So I have pretty much just showered up for the last time and using, I guess, my own shower, slept in my own bed. And it's travel day. It's gonna be a long trip. Stay tuned for that. So the bike is already gone, already loaded up and we're gonna head over to Megan's house where we will start this journey, this adventure. Hopefully you guys were able to watch us on Instagram Live while we did this road trip and uh, had a chance to experience uh, just the adventure raw. We're leaving now, everything's been loaded up. It's been a planned trip for months. I cannot wait so much in fact that for the past five weeks I've been on a strict diet just so I could destroy myself during this trip and eat all the good foods and things like that. So stay tuned. We got lots of stuff. Good morning. Got lots of stuff. And everything I own is tiny. <laughs> we still have lots of stuff to load up. Lots of stuff. Our mode of transportation for this journey. All right, so I gotta unload the rest of our goodies, get it all packed up in there, and then we off. Never opened that thing before. I don't know how to do it. Careful, that spider right there. Shut up. Where's the latch? Oh, it's down. There's almost nothing. Once we get in the car, we'll do full introductions of everybody for this journey. What? But until that time, we gotta see <gasps> Mrs. Full Throttle Hog. She's so excited to be here. That's Megan. What is up everybody, it is the Full Throttle Hog. We are officially on the road and heading to Sturgis 2020. On this journey, we are going to have Megan, who is currently in driver's seating position one during the first leg. Myself and the wife back there, say hello. If this is your first time here, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. This is going to be a 24 hour trip uh, we're gonna try to make it as exciting as possible, like I said, and we are off officially in tow for Sturgis 2020, and we are driving in, what do we got here? It's a 2018 GMC Canyon. The 2018 Canyon, which we're gonna get some backseat B-roll and some things like that, so hopefully you guys all enjoy it. But we are off, we'll be checking in from time to time, and hopefully you got a chance to watch Instagram Live, Little do they know at the time of this video that we're doing a bunch of Instagram live of our trip. Kind of raw, unedited. It should be fun. The wife's excited about it. You can just Ooh. see it right there. Woo! <laughs> Gonna hit the road, get on the freeway. Boring stuff for a little while. So we'll check back in in a little bit. it to Barstow. Uh, we're fueling up, topping everything off, grab something to eat. We are then back on the road. We're going to be passing by Vegas, which is going to be very hard not to stop. So we'll see what happens when we get there and what kind of convincing I can do. All right. So as we leave Barstow, we just uh, fueled up, like I said. However, I thought it would be an appropriate time to tell you about our experience with uh, Megan's trailer, which you know, one, we, we thank her for allowing us to take her trailer. But instead of waiting till today to see if the bikes would fit, we got together a few weeks early just to do a test run. So at this particular moment, we are going to go back in time. Point 0.21 gigawatts of electricity. Point 0.21 gigawatts! And we're going to show you how we got both bikes to fit inside of this 15-foot toy hauler. Let's take a look at that right now. So welcome back from the future. Uh, this is uh, what we were working with. If you're watching this right now, you already know probably the outcome. 
but uh, the goal is to fit the Road Glide Special and the Sportster inside of this trailer. Before we get started, I'll show you what we were working with and uh, we'll go from there. But this is what we went through. This is about two weeks prior to the Sturgis run and we'll see what we, uh, what we can do. It might take some finagling and quite a bit of time. Okay, it took a couple tries, sweating. We got the Road Glide Special in there. We're gonna try to get the sports right now. Okay, so after about an hour, we got the bikes in there. So as you're watching this video, this is what the back looks like. Let's get back to the road trip. So we are coming up on Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I lied. This is what we see. <laughs> it's close. No, it should be right over this crest here. So yeah, we're gonna be stopping in Vegas to uh, win all of the money for this trip. And then we're gonna buy Class A and continue on to Sturgis. <laughs> All right, so here's a quick update for you. We stopped in Las Vegas. We were right across the street from the Mandalay Bay and uh, had to do a restroom break. And of course, we had to throw a couple bucks in the slot machine. True story, uh, didn't win a million dollars, but I did win $526 off uh, 20 bucks. So we're gonna take that money and we're gonna bounce. So it'll be some extra t-shirts. Okay, so just, it finally caught up to us. Our trailer is having uh, a little bit of an issue. So Megan has popped out her tools and she's getting to work to fix this little vent doodah thing up there because it is flapping in the wind. We need that size. Okay, so if anybody can send us that size right there, that would be great. During our last stop, we did have to adjust the bikes a little bit because uh, the back tire of my bike was dancing. I'm pretty sure my projection of 23 hours and 50 minutes is gonna be pretty close to the money. We're gonna do this operation and then get back on the road. Sick. Blood clots are real. Good morning. We are in Wyoming right now. Uh, we are not going to meet our over exaggerated uh, 23 hours and 50 minutes. We're going to be well above that. Uh, so we left San Diego at 10 a.m. yesterday. Right now it's 6 a.m. and it looks like we still have six hours to go. But uh, Megan finally gave up the, uh, the driver's seat after going 19 straight hours of driving. And so now I'm, I've taken over the helm. So we'll keep you guys posted as we, uh, as we get closer, we'll check back in and then it'll be time to uh, unload the bikes. And at night will be the stars. We can go any place that we want to. I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be with me Okay, so we just spent the last, I swear, like 400 miles trying to find food and or civilization. We're gonna be eating at Trailhead and we are exactly 138 miles from uh, Cody, Wyoming in the KOA. So we're gonna grab some food and then we'll go from there. All right, 
What an awesome meal. I literally, I've only had about an hour's sleep in the last 24 hours. We got 138 miles to go, recharge the batteries. We're getting back on the road, 138 miles left. Let's do this. We are so excited. Seven miles left. And then this happens. Literally, we were right behind the cars that were being released to go. We're no longer excited. All right, Megan's excited a little bit. You're excited. <laughs> hey! We've been driving straight. Be patient. KO wake. We've been awake for 37 hours. So we're all set up here. We got uh, the bikes out of the trailer. They're ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go for a little cruise here in a little bit. But we're gonna get the rest of the trailer set up before we give you guys a little preview of what uh, we're gonna be dealing with, like a mini cribs, if you will. Maybe we'll make it a Cinevlog, I don't know. We'll do a Cinevlog. Uh, but yeah, then we're gonna take a little cruise and see about getting something to eat here locally. It was a very long ride. I know we were uh, Instagram living and trying to make predictions. Even though straight through Google Maps said 17 hours, 58 minutes, I was guessing with stops, fuel, and all that kind of stuff, I was guessing for 23 hours, 50 minutes, and it ended up taking, what was the total time? 28 hours to get to Cody. <laughs> Wyoming to our campground. So, all right, so we're here at the KOA camp campgrounds and uh, we just met Tom who's actually been traveling around and uh, he's got his little camp set up with his bike over here and likes to uh, read some books. So for everybody out there, just so you know, this is bad karma. This was written by Paul Wilson, who happens to be my father-in-law. So there is uh, maybe some bias here, but I will tell you, uh, bad karma, fantastic book. This is, a, uh, this is about a surf trip from hell that Paul went on. And he's told these stories for years. He's finally put it in the book. It's an Amazon number one bestseller. And uh, we're gonna give it to Tom here. So that's the Bearcat. We're gonna finish it up. And then we're gonna give you guys a preview of what it looks like inside. Good morning from Cody, Wyoming. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky. Bikes got a little washed last night from the thunderstorms. We are getting ready right now. Girls are getting dressed. We're gonna load up the bikes, get on the road. First, we're gonna stop and get some caffeine. So come along with us as we enjoy Beartooth Pass today. It's gonna be amazing. All right, one of the crazy things about Wyoming, unless you're going into like a big chain store, uh, they pretty much say if you're not sick, then you don't have to wear a mask, which is awesome. But anytime you go into a big chain, uh, it's posted up everywhere, just like everywhere else in the country, you gotta wear your mask. We got our caffeine, we got our breakfast sandwiches, we're gonna eat real quick. We were gonna go right to the route, however, we're gonna go back to camp because Megan needs to tighten down some, uh, some nuts. 
or what she likes to call a flange. What is going on, everybody? We are on the road. If this is your first time watching, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. We are heading from Cody, Wyoming, up through Beartooth Pass, where we are going to try to bring you a whole bunch of awesome footage. We're going to stop at the Top of the World store and uh, see what that's like. We've heard nothing but good things. Got the wife on the back. We got Megan riding with us, so we hopefully can bring the best amount of footage possible for you all. If you like the content of this video, please don't forget to share, subscribe, hit that like button, and give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So we bypassed a few outlooks. We stopped at the third one, and I will tell you right now, this is an amazing route already. These views are unbelievable. Check out this drone footage. We got the bike all packed up. We're gonna head down the road and see if we can find another sweet spot like this, so let's go. After getting stuck with a little bit of a backup uh, for some construction that's taking place here on Beartooth, uh, we are here at the Top of the World store, pretty famous place to stop on Beartooth Pass. I uh, met some other bikers along the way um, that had a, just an unbelievable story and an adventure of them kind of coming together. They've been on the road for I don't know, I think one of them said nine days so far. They're still on their way to Sturgis, so they're making the most of it. Uh, we're gonna see if they can tell us a little bit about their journeys and, and how they've been surviving and the people they've met along the way uh, during their trip to Sturgis, and that's really what it's all about. I'm Paul, I'm from Austin, Texas. I bartend down there, letting loose with these fellas on the highway. I've been on the road for what, eight days now? This is day eight. From Austin, I met him. We're up to Santa Fe, 700 miles the first day. We camped in Colorado a couple nights, Moab one night. Rode up from there. Uh, we've been bathing in rivers and hot springs every chance we get. Uh, it's been good though. Too bad this isn't smell of vision. It's, it's been great. No, I'm, we're good. Uh, we've been camping for free everywhere. So National Forest, um, just tips from friends. We had, I mean, we stayed kind of on the edge of the world the other night by the Tetons, which was amazing. We got a homie from LA. We got a guy from Santa Fe. One from Salt Lake, one from one from Austin. We all four of us met last year at Sturgis. Well, he's new this year, but we all met last year at Sturgis. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. All right, so we made it to the Beartooth Inn and Suites and Montana. I mean, this is, we're out a ways from anybody. And you know you're at a old school hotel room when, these are your room keys. 
But we're gonna unload the bikes and then we're gonna get ready to go out for the evening. Let's get to it. So after a great day of riding, Beartooth Pass, we're at Red... After a great day of riding... Can you keep it down? After... <laughs> after a great day... What? Bibbity bloopity. We'll dub it. <laughs> I swear this is all I've had. After a great day of riding on uh, Beartooth Pass, we're... <laughs> I really think you should dub it. After a great day of riding on Beartooth Pass, we decided to go to Red Lodge Ales and have a few drinks and some dinner. Tomorrow we head back to Cody where we will load up the bikes and head to Sturgis 2020. Good morning. Good morning from Sturgis, South Dakota. We are here. Giving a little update on what happened. When we arrived last night, we were here with a few minutes to spare. We were able to get in, get checked in, which we did, and we were at Big Rig uh, RV campgrounds. The last hour was like a, a disaster. But we are now going to take in Sturgis. We are heading to Rushmore today. So if this is your first time here, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. This morning we need to repack one of the saddlebags and uh, then we'll be off taking in the sights. So stay tuned. So I just consider it the first uh, travel tattoo for the bike. This got pushed in just a little bit. We're gonna adjust that this morning and then we're gonna get on the road. Hello there, we have left camp and we are en route to Mount Rushmore. We're gonna be taking uh, Iron Mountain down and then we're gonna do Needles Highway back up. So I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know every single time we release a video. Currently, the temperature is 75 degrees. Starting elevation point is gonna be 3,536. <laughs> So Mount Rushmore, we came, we saw, and now it's time to roll some spicy B-roll. Check it out. We just went through Keystone and now we're going to show you Iron Mountain Road. We're going to take that down, come back up through Needles because it is recommended to take Needles in reverse because I guess the views are a little bit better. So we're going to take you on a venture through Iron Mountain and Needles. Come along with us. Hey my love, how are you? Did your broken part say I do by the house we left? Falling asleep in a car On a one way Now we're both Crying now Every brick we stacked Falling down In a place I loved Bleeding it out through the heart Let's die somewhere we were start So there you have it, 
That was Iron Mountain Road. And now we're gonna head down through Custer and check that out, maybe see some bison. But let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about that route and what you thought about that B-roll. Finishing up the loop right now, I'm gonna be honest, you know, it's $20 per vehicle. Yeah, you get it for a week, I'm sure, different wildlife as you come through, but um, I wasn't that impressed with the, uh, the buffalo action. So I'm not sure, I mean, I'm glad I did it just so I could say that I did it. And uh, I mean, we're here, we might as well take advantage, but I don't know. I don't think I would pay for that again uh, next time. So, all right, we are now heading to Needles Highway. We've been waiting for this route all day long, so stay tuned. We decided that we we're gonna have a bite to eat in Keystone and then with that it started to sprinkle and a storm was coming and it said it was gonna be here for the next three hours so we said hey let's tough it out we'll get into rain gear I've never ridden in rain gear before I know I'm from San Diego so Megan just bought brand new rain gear and she also got a new exhaust system for this trip and she was wondering because her exhaust gets so hot if it's a good idea to ride with rain gear with her exhaust and i said yeah it's gonna be fine should be no reviews saying not to as we're stopped here megan looks down in her pants and this is what we see and this is melted to her jeans oh it gets better she then checks her exhaust system out and her exhaust is gone. <laughs> is is now got some heat shield custom made so this is megan not having a good day however 
Lindsay is being a trooper. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> the lightning was very close. I'm hoping the Senate captured it, but we're going to get back on the road and try to get to uh, Rapid City. Safely. Safely. One. 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 Oh, one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. Yeah. I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true star trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one. One shot for the kill. The breeze cut freeze up. Straight drop in the chills. I'm talking. Taking over pieces and shares. A ball break sky high. Check the movement is here. Yeah. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours, go! I'm turning dreams into reality, in the lab with the formula in chemistry. So we are Black Hills Harley-Davidson in Rapid City, and I'll tell you what, this event is literally probably the best, um, I would say, motorcycle swap meet. I've been to, and I'm about ready to drop some money. Uh, we're gonna get new suspension on the bike today. After riding through these past few states with the wife, we definitely needed to uh, upgrade that suspension. So we are looking at putting on some pro action suspension. I'll go ahead and film everything, the install, the whole process. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. filming done and now it's time to unwind a little bit. We just had a chance to catch up with the Adam Sandoval. Adam, thank you so much for everything that you do for the community. You're the, pretty much a big reason that this channel exists. So thank you for that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know every single time we do a video. Full Throttle Hog at the Full Throttle Saloon. 
We're going to go check this out right now. That I die legend Yeah, sign God, homie, I'm revving I'm great, just protecting my investment Ask about me, integrity's not a question Straight up, all the way up With the same ones that was down from the jump Day one, same ones been around when there ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break ones Go on, you can charge it to the game I'm all up in the photos, looking largest in the frames Hey, keep high movement, I'm getting to the bag But the amount of work requires not a price you wanna pay Tell me what I can't have a cop to I ain't doing dirt that I ain't down to cop to Living well, I've been selling the things I brought through And if y'all don't know the name, then believe me that you about to oh, let's go now Basement, that's facts. Made it to deals and the paid placements, all that. Think I made it and wishing you trade places, yo. Can you can't be half of me even if we related? Whoa. Nowadays we getting bread from the baker. Seven layers, man, I caught it getting cake up. Like a movie, done some things you couldn't make up. Y'all can put it on my tab and I'm prepared for when I meet my maker. Till then it's nice whips, no show. Yeah, homie, yo, bitch, my photo. It's big facts, I want all the smoke. I could go for broke, cause you know that the flow forever worth its weight in gold. Yeah. Let's go now grab a bite to eat real quick then we're heading up to uh, Devil's Tower we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna hopefully try to find a way to fly the drone today after Devil's Tower we're gonna head into Deadwood uh, and take a look at all that so come along with us if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below hit that bell icon so you know every single time we do a video if you're enjoying the content please let me know down in the comments don't forget to like the video and share it on your social media platforms hey I got a confession no momentum Just because it's easy but That don't make it better. Better, better, better I wanna dig my hands deep down in the dirt Take a walk along the street if I'm feeling dessert All of this convenience just doesn't work for me I wanna play with fire, let me get hurt scenic view and when you actually get a glimpse of that uh, tower coming around the corner there you know it's it's pretty awesome so we're gonna jump back on the bikes we're gonna take Spearfish Canyon so we'll be able to show you guys that route and we're gonna take that uh, into lead 
and we might stop and lead or we might just continue into uh, Deadwood. So let's see where it goes. Spearfish Canyon and I can tell you right now I'm already impressed it's an awesome awesome route uh, speed limits are kind of slow there are cops kind of posted up everywhere so you gotta abide by that but it's not a bad thing because you get to take in uh, all the views right now we're we're stopped at a scenic waterfall we're gonna go see if we can grab uh, a couple nice still shots and uh, if it's successful I will put them up right So we're able to uh, spot some mountain goats up on the hillside there, so check these out. B-roll of Spearfish Canyon. My lungs feel better just being on that road. We're gonna wait it out. It is crazy windy this morning. Crazy windy. You can check out these flags back here. They are blowing. So we're gonna get some breakfast, hopefully allow this wind to die down. Uh, but I'm pretty excited to see Crazy Horse, so come along. Lift my head, say I'm praying for a righteous man. I bow my heart for the woman I will meet his hand. And for the children of a lost man. Drinking dirty water, choking on your words, poisoned by the world that you got them drinking from. Yeah. 
that once you bring your bike to Sturgis, it's never the same. Just different things, you know, dirt, debris, nicks, scrapes, whatever. But take a look at my bike right now. I'm pretty sure that dirt road didn't help. She had an amazing time, so we're gonna take her over to the airport right now and say goodbye. Well, y'all, we made it to the airport, and now it's time to say goodbye. She's heading back home today. We're very, very sad. I tried to convince her to stay a couple more days. Uh, we're gonna get her y'all checked in. Like seriously, I'm pretty sad. We had such an amazing time. For all you that are uh, out there maybe looking at getting into a motorcycle, um, maybe you're having that conversation with your significant other and you just don't know, or maybe there's danger talks or, um, you know, whatever it might be, get yourself a motorcycle. Uh, but I will tell you that it does change everything and will, help your relationship that's that's my uh that's my mow moment for you um but i will tell you having this bike has uh has brought my wife and i closer and you know it's just awesome so highly recommend it but we say goodbye now we're gonna get back on the road and then we're gonna go for a ride i don't even know where we're going today this is our last and final day in sturgis it's pretty sad, but today we're gonna to take a page out of Jason Aldean's book and we're going to head to the Badlands. So come along with us for this ride, but hopefully covered everything on Sturgis. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below, hit that bell icon so you know every single time we do a video. Uh, we're all loaded up and we are getting ready to take off. Up before the sun every single day he gave me a home and gave me my name He sang Robert a sweet baby James Yeah, he built a life All right, so we have just entered the park for the loop in Badlands. We had a very close call of running out of gas. 
Megan was down to fumes and my gas light was on, but thankfully we were able to find a gas station right before the loop. So uh, there is a gas station if you're ever out here. Um, just know that there is one right before the uh, the entrance to the loop. We're gonna start that loop right now. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy what you see. Sturgis 2020. It's hard to believe that nine days could go by so fast. As we take this journey back to camp one last time, I think about all the experiences we just took in the last nine days. I think about the people we met and the footage we got. Did it turn out as good as I have it in my mind? What will this series be? Will it be successful? Will you, the viewer, actually enjoy the content? I just sit here in my helmet, in my thoughts, knowing that this moment, this scene, right here, is going to be the end of the Sturgis 2020 series. I couldn't think of a better way to end this series than right here. It's a funny thing, being in your helmet on a long stretch of road, you get a chance to reflect on just about everything, but for me, my reflection was about these last nine days. You and me, hey, let's get together now, you'll see, hey, just how this life is supposed to be. I'm not sure if I'm going to find another adventure that will surpass this Sturgis 2020 trip. But what I do know is I look forward to trying. <laughs>